Hello everybody and welcome to another advanced machinery tutorial and we're going to be looking at the storage unit this time. It's the storage system is a little bit different than what I'm used to. Uh, well, I think most people are used to as far as how uh, storage systems work. I was under the idea, mistaken idea, that the actual storage unit itself was the uh, would store the items, but that's actually not the case. The storage unit is an interface to the uh, power core, which actually stores your items. So your items are actually stored inside your power core rather than ex rather than in the storage unit yourself. Now, I mean, most storage systems, the, the uh, items are stored within the actual storage block. But in this case, it, everything is actually stored in your power unit. And the storage block is just the interface that allows you to put stuff into the into the power core and to pull stuff out of the power core. So uh, actually, I wanted to show you the recipes, but I need the um, let me s let me switch back over to creative mode and uh, let me get a a uh, crafting bench okay let's put that down there okay and let's go back go back to uh, survival so let me show you what the what the uh, recipe is for the storage unit there we go. It is a block of iron, a diamond, and then iron all the way around it. So the to get items into the power core, you just you just throw them on top. So wait for this guy. So you see it just pops on top and then uh, let's see if I can get this in there. It's a little difficult. Is it gonna go? No, for some reason it's not. Can't, maybe you can't store a uh, crafting bench in there. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little, it's a little odd to be honest. Uh, I'm, something I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of, I have mixed feelings about it. I have mixed feelings about it on on uh, the system so, yeah i don't know if it it will store it'll store 64 different items that's the total so the the storage block is the interface right so all of these storage blocks po all point to the same place they all point to your power core they're not none of these are individual blocks they're all connected to your power core so you really just got one storage system no matter how many blocks that you have you really just have one storage system and that's whatever's contained within your power core now, you, now according to emotionless you can store a hundred thousand items or more in there uh, you are limited to 64 items and i don't know exactly what all those items are but i mean that's a de decent amount of items it will store all of the resources that you need which is kind of the whole point really um but to get stuff out of it, you have to have an item in your hand. So you're going to need a copy of every of at least one of everything, and then you just right click it. And as you see, you get out, uh, you know, five at a time or four at a time. Now you see the particles there. That just lets you know that you don't have enough coal in the system to pull out four. You have to have at least five in the system to to get them otherwise you're not gonna you know it's gonna give you those particles that just means you there's not enough in the system to to pull out so 
yeah so you can just throw it on top see i'm doing that here so it must not be it must not a crafting bitch must not be one of the items you can store in your system now there is a bug there is a bug here and it the diamond nugget and the emerald nugget if you store those items you cannot get them out of the system and and i've already i've already mentioned that on the website so uh do not store if you're going to use this do not store you the diamond nuggets or the emerald nuggets so what i'm doing is i'm pulling those two items off using the sorter the sorter will uh when you make a sorter just right click it with the item that you want to sort now the sorter will only sort just a few a handful of items that's it it doesn't sort very many items at all luckily it does sort uh, the um, the diamond nugget and the emerald nugget so when the diamond a diamond nugget or an emerald nugget passes over the top and and uh, you can sort one item per so you see the emerald nugget there drop down they'll drop down onto this uh, these conveyor belts here and then I just push them into a uh, there was the diamond nugget. I push it into the hopper and it goes inside the, uh, the the chest there because once they get into your storage system, you can't get them out. So those two items, don't store them because uh, you won't be able to get them out. Now, let me see. I haven't tried the amethyst. Uh, we've got nine sh amethyst shards in there, so let's see. Yeah, amethyst is good. So it just seems to be the those two... Um, those two items that uh, you're not able to store. So don't store those items. And the sorter is real cheap. It's just, uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. It's just the hopper and some redstone. And it's the way it works is it, it'll just pull it off the top and then it physically drops it down. So it won't store it in a hopper. It won't store it in a chest. So it'll just drop it down. So put yourself a couple conveyor belts on the ground. Put the sorter on top of it. That's why this is elevated up the way it is. It'll drop down onto that conveyor belt and then get pushed into your hopper and into the chest. Real simple. So that is the storage system. It's a little bit different than what I was expecting. I was thinking the blocks were going to store the items. They don't store the items. Everything is stored in your power core now the problem of course is, will be uh, if you pick up your power core you can you can sneak and right shift uh, you can sneak in and right click the power core and pick it up but if you do that you're going to lose all your items in your storage system so if you're going to move your power core which you can do you can move it you need to take everything out of your power out of your storage system that's going to be a real hassle if you've got a lot of items in there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. 92 redstone. But you get out four at a time, so it's not too bad. I don't think you get... I don't think there's any, like, shift getting a stack. No, if you try to shift click, it doesn't work. Or sneak click, it doesn't work. So, yeah, you get out uh, four at a time. So you're going to have to have more than four in your storage system in order for it to work. So, uh, yeah, we're, I was expecting something a little bit different. Uh, one thing that's one thing that was be kind of is kind of nice with this system is because all of these blocks point to the same thing. You could set up your like I have it here. You've got your machines going. It drops them into the into the block. You, you know your house is over here somewhere. So. Uh, you just I think I'm still in survival. Yeah. So you go over to your house and you've got your little crafting area here. So you just plop that down somewhere. Uh, you know, get all your get all your stuff here. Because you because you are going to need a copy of, of everything. So, you know, this is our hypothetical house here. Our store, our, our stuff's over there. This is our hypothetical house.
So, I mean, you know, you don't have to be next to where you're storing the stuff. You can do this remotely, which is actually kind of, kind of nice. You know, you can do some crafting. You just, you know, you just grab the stuff out of there. Uh, now, of course, for these two items, that's not going to work. You're going to have to go physically go get them out of your out of your uh, storage. But hopefully that that'll be fixed soon, and then we won't have to uh, uh, deal with that. Yeah, and we can just have everything fixed up the way it's supposed to be. So I mean, it's not a not a bad deal in a way. I'm just wondering how you know when you get a whole bunch of stuff in there. You know, and you need uh, a lot of items to make, you know, a craft a whole bunch of stuff. How, if it's going to be annoying to get everything out of there or not, I'm not sure. It'll have to be, you know, we'll just have to try it and see how it works. I mean, you do get four at a time. It'd be nice to be able to get a whole stack of something, you know, maybe by shift right clicking like, uh, you know, like like you can on storage drawers, for example, in Java or, or some of the other storage systems. You know, you shift right click uh, with the item in your hand and you, and you get a stack if, if a stack is available. That would be a nice little addition to the system. Uh, now, of course, you don't have to use this storage system. Minecraft has had sorting, you know, van Minecraft with just the vanilla Minecraft has had sorting for a lot of you know for ages now I, I i'm not exactly sure how far it goes back but it goes back quite a ways i mean you can have a vanilla solution to your storage system if you want uh now this is bedrock edition though so you have to understand that java sorters do not work correctly on bedrock edition you need to get a bedrock sorter for bedrock edition and there are there are some out there i would suggest uh, that you look at silent whisperers uh, website in fact I will put a link in the description to his sorter that he's developed. Uh, Silence a bedrock edition wizard. I mean, he just, he's got all kinds of stuff. You know, he's got an a AFK fishing system that works really well in bedrock edition. And it's really AFK. Uh, you need to have a uh, uh, auto clicker you know, a, a separate program, separate auto clicker running in order to use it. But I've used his fishing before and it works really great. The sorting system that he has, I've used it as well in Bedrock Edition, works wonderfully. So I'll put a link in uh, the description to his uh, sorter, his, my, his Bedrock Edition sorter. And you could just, it's real, really very cheap to make and it's really simple to implement that. In fact, I'm going to implement it in my flat world survival. Uh, instead of using these storage units like this, I'm going to do the traditional, you know, Minecraft storage system just because, uh, just because I think it'd be more interesting to do. Uh, and I'm, I'm so I've got mixed feelings about how this system works. So yeah. But anyways, I'll put a link to his, uh, to Silence uh, Sorter System, Sorting System, Bedrock Edition Sorting System in the description below. So you can check that out if you want. But that's it. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated. I mean, it's a very simple system. Really, really simple. It'll store a lot of items. I mean, uh, a motionless was saying it'll store 100,000 items. So at least, if not more. So, I mean, you've got bulk storage, which is what people were wanting. So that's happening and it is a central location. And it is nice that you can, you know, put your system here. You know, you've got your resource generation over here in one spot, but you can always, you know, put another uh, storage unit down and then do all your crafting and stuff from a remote location. That's really nice. That's, that's really nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the only downside I can see is, well, the bug, you know, getting this, getting these fixed. Uh, and then just, you know, if you have a, if you need a lot of items, how easy is it going to be to get stuff out of there? If he could implement a stack retrieval, 
you know, like if I, uh, you know, the uh, redstone, for example, I have 139 redstone in there, but a lot of these items require redstone blocks, you know, so uh, the, uh, yeah, see, so require redstone blocks. So you're going to use up redstone pretty quickly and getting out four at a time might be a little tedious, you know. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to get get a stack out of there, but uh, maybe not. You know, you could sit there and just right click it and shoot it into your inventory. It may not be tedious at all, really, when it comes down to actual practical uses. So, yeah, but that's the storage system. A lot simpler than I was expecting. I was thinking, you know, the block holds the items, so we'll we'll create a a nice sorting system where we sort each item into an individual block. But no, that's not the way it works. The blocks are just interfaces into your um, power core, and that's where everything is stored. So keep that in mind. If you need to move the power core, you're going to lose your items. So uh, just keep that in mind. Everything's stored in a central location. So, yeah, that's the storage system. That's the way it works. I mean, extremely simple. I was thinking I was going to have to do a lot of stuff for it, and you don't. It's It's all just right there. So anyways, folks, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see what I to do next. I think we'll get into some of these other stuff. I mean, we've got generation down. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll set up a uh, automation system for the because I talked about it last episode. The steam generator, which is going to require a chopper so we can talk about that uh, and a bio generator set up an automation system so that we can use these two items as uh, RF generators in addition to, to getting uh, setting up a tree farm which is what the chopper will do for us so yeah I think I'll do that next episode and it should be interesting that'll be a little bit more complicated I think uh, not terribly so but I think it'll be a little bit more complicated uh, yeah, it just depends on, uh, yeah, I don't know if the sorter will sort leaves. If the sorter will sort leaves, then, uh, we're golden. If it won't, and I bet you it won't, then actually what I'll do is I'll set up, we can set up a good old fashioned Minecraft sorter to pull off the leaves and s send them to the bio generator, uh, and the, uh, steam generator because we have to actually put the leaves in the wooden barrels in order for them to uh, generate water which we can pull out and put in the steam generator so yeah we might have to build a fence a old-fashioned minecraft sorter after all so yeah we'll do that next episode that'll be fun so we'll, we'll automate those two things those three things actually next episode so appreciate it thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.